Hey you, what is up, Tesla here and in today's video I will be showing you how to jailbreak your PlayStation 3. So the pre-requirements you do need is 3.55 official firmware PlayStation 3. Anything over 3.55 can't be jailbroken, that's just a note if you're watching this video. And if you have a 4.76 PlayStation 3 you want to, want to jailbreak, you will have to click the link in the description below. It's a downgrade service, it's not free but these days nothing is free anymore. But if you already have a 3.55 PlayStation 3, you can go ahead and follow this tutorial on screen right now. Please note, if anything happens to your PlayStation 3, it's not my fault, it's your own fault for doing this. I can't stop you, it's totally up to you. But when you have all these things, you're pretty much good to go and we can go ahead and jump right into it. So on your PC, you want to go ahead and go to the download link in the description below. You will have to download the update file, it will be called 3.553bugrex.pop or something like that. And you want to go ahead and format your USB to, to FAT32, need help, you can find everything about it on Google. When you USB you will have to make a new folder called PS3, make sure it's all capitalized and then make another folder called update, rename the file that you have downloaded to PS3 update without the E and drop it into the update folder then just safely eject your USB and move over to your PlayStation 3. Now in your PlayStation 3 make sure you plug in your USB in the closest USB slot on your disk and it's basically the most right USB port. Anyway turn off your PlayStation 3 and put it into recovery mode, if you don't know how to enter recovery mode you can always look it up. Once you have and recovery mode you will have to plug in your controller with the USB cable and then choose the update on the menu. From there you will have to follow the instructions which are shown on the screen. To say that you need an update file of 2.70 or later, just plug in your USB stick and do the things that are shown on the screen. Once you have done all of that stuff just let the PS3 do his thing. Once that is done you have successfully put your PS3 onto custom firmware. There's one more step that I actually want to include for the people that want to go ahead and play online. Now in order to get on Online, you will have to go to the second download link and download the file. Now just repeat the same steps as before on your PC, delete the previous update.pup file and replace it with a new one. Go to your PlayStation 3 and enter recovery mode once again. Choose update and let the PlayStation 3 do his thing. Once the PS3 is done you can sign in. This is a good thing about rework because you don't need any spoofs at the moment but maybe in the future you will have to download one. There are enough tutorials on how to install spoofers but other than that if you did enjoy this video make Make sure to drop a like down below as it really helps me out a lot. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Let's aim for something well over 150 likes. Any questions can be asked in the comment section below. So hopefully this tutorial helped you out. Also, I hope you learned something from this video. Like that you can jail a PlayStation 3 above 3.55 without downgrading. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. This is Tesna signing out. Peace.